Well, in our case, all of our manu uh, customers are making machine parts, and the machine parts have to be uh, cut to a specific tolerance dimension. And it's important that they follow a procedure to ensure that what they're making is to their standards and specification. For us, standards are a big thing because it's an in, as, with industry standards, it's very important. It's important that not only all the manufacturers are manufacturing to the same standards, but it also helps the end users because they know when tools are coming in, tools are coming in manufactured to those standards. So it, it makes everything very easy when you're going in to try to support a manufacturer. Well, because we're a global company, um, a lot of times we're using the ANSI and DIN standards a lot. Uh, we're following those, so it's very important for us. Um, and it's also important to make sure that we, we follow up on what's going on with standards changing in the industry to make sure that we stay a step ahead of our competition. If you're a job shop and you're supplying a part to Boeing or whoever, uh, Boeing wants to know that you have the, the processes in place to make their part to Boeing stand. Things have to fit together, and if they don't fit together, then you gotta know why they don't fit together. And so if you don't have a standard to follow, then when is the part right, when's the part wrong? The standards that uh, you know we can create off of our devices that uh, companies worldwide are able to use. Uh, aviation especially, which is one of our biggest clients, one of the biggest users of all sorts of metrology technology, um, standards are a life and death uh, matter. The standards, you know, all uh, focus on specified tolerances within our industry. And any type of machining applications that we work with are very specific in their tolerances to, you know, ten thousandths of an inch kind of stuff. As we collect data from parts uh, that have been manufactured and uh, and make sure that they have been manufactured to the standards of the uh, that are outlined by the model, by the blueprints, and everything else. So, in added manufacturing in general, standards are something that a lot of people are talking about because there's a lot of materials that are not standardized yet. So, it can be difficult for us to go out and and pick a material off the shelf if it hasn't been standardized yet. So, we're playing in a space. Um, a lot of research, a lot of development going on, and. Standards one day will definitely play a big role and, and right now we're working on that.